What's up everybody, Kyle Buckland here with The Artful Souls. I just want to take a second to show you a couple little studies that I did recently. Um, I got to teach out at the Plein Air Convention and Expo uh, last month at, uh, in Denver, uh, Colorado and had a lot of fun out there. We, um, I had never, I've never been out to that part of the country, so getting to paint uh, in the Rocky Mountains and, and getting to experience that landscape was really awesome. Um, and we got to spend a day in Rocky Mountain National Park and paint and I wanted to show you um, some of these studies that I did from that area um, so and talk a little bit about what they're painted on so you know when you're out hiking sometimes especially if you're planter painting up in the mountains or something you might not be able to drag a giant canvas out um, and a lot of equipment so you really have to think about what's portable and practical um, and so one one solution to to that is painting on paper uh, there's a variety of oil painting paper surfaces out there um, but I recently found one that I really like and wanted to do a video on it just so I could um, kind of tell you a little bit about it why I like it and um, maybe get it try it out and tell me what you think um, if you do happen to get this paper and you and you want to try it out and tell me what you think you can write in the comments below um, it's called Stonehenge oil painting paper by Legion paper company and it's a new product they put out and it's got a I don't know exactly how to describe I guess it's more like a it's like a velvety surface um, so it's it's this very smooth kind of almost satin um, finish to it um, and it one thing I love about it is it doesn't require gesso so some papers you know I don't know if you ever gessoed over um, paper to paint on it with oils but it creates kind of this dry um, brittle surface that I'm not a big fan of but um, this paper it allows you to just paint straight onto the paper. It's uh, archival and pH neutral and all that good stuff. So, um, but another thing I like about it is the way that the paint sits on it. So, if we take a you know a close look at this um, painting here, you'll see that there's a variety of thin and thick passages. So, you know, when I'm painting, a lot of times I encourage um, you know people to. Uh, use both thin washes and thick paint in the painting to create sort of a dynamic surface. Um, well, that's one thing I love about this paper is it takes all that um, perfectly and kind of blends it all together and the paint sits right up on the surface of the paper very nicely. So um, it doesn't buckle, it holds up, it's heavy enough, heavy duty enough to hold up, um, but it's also light enough to, to carry a pack of like 12 sheets in a backpack with you. Um, another advantage of this is it dries quicker so just the nature of the paper pulls the oil out of the paint and the paintings dry quicker so if you're traveling and you need your paintings to dry um, more quickly for for um, for traveling back um, this is a, a great um, tool to have for that too so um, this is you know of course there's lakes up there with the reflections uh, just ma majestic views everywhere you look I really loved the way that you could see through this reflection and there was that nice kind of warm undertone under the water. Uh, one of my favorite things to paint. And then here's another scene too. And so I'll show you just another example also painted on that paper of how um, you can get a variety of um, brush strokes and a variety of paint application um, uh, to really work for you on this, on this paper surface. So, uh, so give it a try. Tell me what you think. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh, you can like the video, always helps. Um, and then if you want access to more content, you can uh, check out the link to my Patreon page in the description of the video below. And I hope you're getting out and painting and, and having fun. And I'll see you soon in the next video. Thanks so much for watching.